Hello and welcome back to Staying Fervent. I'm Tracy, where we encourage you to stay fervent in God. Thank you so much for tuning in today and staying fervent with me. The book of Proverbs in the third chapter tells us to acknowledge God in all our ways and he would direct our paths. I'm reminded of a story also in the Old Testament when God over and over was furious with Israel for running to Egypt for safety, for running to Egypt for refuge, for running to Egypt without even acknowledging him. He said they were looking at Egypt because they had strong horses. They were looking at Egypt because Egypt had a massive army. What they should have been doing instead was looking to him. God was furious because they did not acknowledge him, because they did not call upon him, because they did not ask him for direction. God was furious with them because they did not trust in him. Instead, they trusted in Egypt's army. They trusted in Egypt's strength. They trusted in Egypt's chariots. And God wanted them to trust in his strength. God wanted them to trust in his word. God wanted them to trust in his promises. He wanted them to trust in him. So it is with us. Today, God wants us to trust in him. He wants us to plant our feet in his word. He wants us to trust in his promises. He don't want us leaning on the world. He don't want us looking at the strength of the world. He don't want us looking at the strength of a strong name, a strong person, someone with caliber. Instead of trusting in those things, he wants us to trust in him. So I encourage you today, don't make a move without God. And trust in him alone for your resources. Trust in him alone for your provisions. Genesis 22 and 14 describes God as the God who provides for us. He is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God, our provider. And he knows how to provide for us. The Israelites needed to remember that no battle was won without God on their side. No battle is won without God leading the victory. No battle is won without the victorious God. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by the Spirit of the Lord. Zechariah 4 and 6 says. So God doesn't want us to put our trust in man. And when we do that, the enemy has got our perspective off. And we begin to trust in things that is truly not there. He wants us to keep our focus on him, his promises, and in his word. So we will not go astray. So we won't listen to the voice of the enemy. But we will hear the voice of a good shepherd speaking to us, telling us what to do. Knowing that he alone can deliver. And he alone can save. He told them like this in Isaiah the 31st chapter in verse 1. This is what he said. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots and in horsemen because they are strong. But they do not look unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. God was offended because they didn't put their trust in him. He had brought them up out of the land of Egypt, brought them into a plenteous place. So it is with us. How much has God brought us out of? How much deliverance has he brought us through? And then we run to something else for safety. And we run to something else for a word. We run to something else for counsel without looking into his word first, without honoring his word, without praying to him and asking for his guidance and his direction. In this scripture, God was offended by that. So I pray today that we trust not in the world, that we trust not in things that are unlike God. We need to remove the idols from our heart, remove the things that separate us from the Lord and bring our hearts back to trusting in the living God and in his word. That's a song that they used to sing back in the old church. It was everything's going down, but the word of God. See, the world is going down in its ways and its dainties. And when we're trusting in that, we'll find ourselves falling too. But God wants us to hold on to him and trust in his word. God wants to remind us that he holds time in his hand. He made the sun, the moon, and the stars. The whole world is in his hand. Scripture says that he sits upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants of the earth. That's us. We're like grasshoppers in his sight. We're small in God's sight. This is how big God is, and he wants us to trust in him. The psalmist said we will not trust in chariots, and we will not trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. So today I pray you remember. I pray you remember God. I pray you remember his word. I pray you remember his promises. I pray you remember that he wants you to run to him. Run to him for his favor. Run to him for his truth. Run to him for relationship. Run to him for love. Run to him in prayer. Amen. God longs to have a relationship with us. So don't be fooled by what looks strong. Don't be fooled by the tactics of the enemy. Don't be fooled by what the world has to present to you and what it offers. Keep your trust in the Lord. 